What's going on, King and Queens? Um, welcome to Daily Bread number nine. Usually, I start off my intro a little bit more goofy, a little bit more enthusiastic, but um, this is a serious topic, man. So I just wanted to go ahead and kind of just get into this. Um, I want to talk about brokenness. I want to talk about you know brokenness and blessings. God never let me talk about what I want to talk about, bro. Like, he just wake me up. We're going to call it audible today, right? But somebody need to hear this, man. I'm going to try to make it quick because I know when you need a word, when you need to get to that meat, you know, you ain't trying to watch a video for 20 and 30 minutes to get to the point, man. We got we to gotta get these quick cuts like Christ, right? So anytime that God wants to bless you, you're going to go... To, you're going to get to a point where you're broken, right? He's going to get you to a place where you're broken, where you're discouraged, where you're heartbroken, where you're alone, where you're humiliated, where you, where you have an intense amount of shame, right? And God is doing this because he's testing you all the way into the end. I don't know what you heard. I don't know who told you that, you know, you graduated, you made it, right? And then you just waiting to, you waiting to be on assignment. You waiting to, you know, get your blessing. That's, that's not how God works, man. God is going to test you all the way into the end. You're going to receive your breakthrough. You're going to receive your blessing. You're going to receive your miracle in the worst moment of your life. In the worst situation of your life in the worst case scenario of your life that's where your breakthrough is going to come when 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 christ was on the cross man he he wasn't just nailed to the cross and then they and then they hung him up it is finished no he had to sit there for hours man hanging there for hours while people just watched him and stared while he was in pain while he was in agony People just, people just waiting on him to fail, man. And they get to laugh at him. They get to humiliate him, man. Right? At any moment, what if Christ at any moment was like, man, you know what? Forget this. I'm coming down, man. I don't got time for this. But he had to stay up there, man. He had to endure to the end. That's why he was like, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me, man? I didn't think I was going to be up here this long. Some of y'all, y'all been suffering for years, man. Man, I didn't know why. I didn't know it was going to be this long. I didn't know I was going to go through this much pain, this much trauma, this much delays, this much setbacks. I didn't know my heart was going to be broken this much. I didn't know my finances was going to be this, uh, this way. I thought I'd be somewhere else doing something different by now, man. Some of y'all, y'all in the worst situation of your entire life, man. And the Bible says, do not despise God's chastising. Do not let it crush you, man. Because God is doing a work in you. He's doing a perfect and complete work in you. I say this all the time, man. <clears throat> but that's the blessing. That's the miracle. And you need to understand that, man. <clears throat> Some of y'all don't understand why, you're <clears throat> why your emotions are all over the place. One minute you're sad. Next minute you're happy. Next minute you have all this joy. The next minute you're, you're, you're depressed. Right? The next moment, you just bouncing all off of the walls. Next moment, you're suicidal, man. You got all these emotions, bro. You like a pregnant woman. Right? And that brings me to um, Isaiah 66, verse 9. Shall I bring you to a place of birth and you not give birth? God ain't about to do all this work in you. Just so you cannot give birth. Just so that thing that he put inside you cannot come out. That's not how God operate. That's not how he roll, man. 
There's a reason for your pain. There's a reason for your struggle. There's a reason for your setbacks. There's a reason for your, your humiliation, man. There's a reason for your shame, your brokenness, man. Hold on. Don't give up, man. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. If this, if this is the last video I have ever made in my entire life, if I don't make no more videos after this, I want you to remember one thing, bro. Satan is after your praise. What is it? Psalm 66. Praise God for the work that he's about to do. You got to get out of this moment, man. I know it hurts. I know it sucks. I know you thought it would be different. But you got to praise your way through. <clears throat> That's like when uh, when Paul and uh, Silas was in prison, right? Most of y'all know this already. There was a man in there that wanted to kill himself. Paul was like, whoa, hold on, bruh. We about to praise our way through out of this, man. The enemy is after your praise. The enemy is after your worship. That's why he attacks you so hard when you so close to your breakthrough. Because when you close to your breakthrough, you in the most uncomfortable situation of your entire life, man. Man, I feel the Holy Spirit. That's why Paul says, I'd rather boast in my weaknesses so God can show himself strong, man. God has this big mess in your life created just to deliver you, man. Just to show up. He won't let you down. He said he'll never leave nor forsake you. But you got to trust him, man. You have to trust him. God is going to test you all the way until the end. He's going to test you all the way until the end, man. And when you get that close, when you get that close, here come the enemy. Here come the enemy attacking your mind. Right? Trying to manipulate your emotions. Trying to get you to fold. Trying to get you to turn back to your old ways, man. All the things that God just delivered you from. The enemy, Satan, he trying to get you to go back. Some of y'all don't even drink no more. It ain't nothing wrong with drinking. Just God hates when you get drunk, though. He hates that, man. He hates a drunkard. Some of y'all, he Satan trying to get some of y'all to, uh, to go back to get drunk again. To get high again. Right? To start smoking. Run out here and have sex with anybody, man. He trying to get y'all to go back to watch pornography, masturbating. Gossiping, right? What does the Bible say? Gossiping is witchcraft, man. That's manipulation. Satan trying to get you, he's trying to get you to go back to that, man. Because it's like you turning your back on God. It's like you turning your back on the most high, man. He's after your praise. He's after your worship. He's after your faith and he's after your obedience, man. Satan don't want you to make it. You have to endure to the end. You have to endure to the end, man. You have to endure through, through the pain, through the suffering, through the shame, through the humiliation, through the mockery, through the setbacks, through the failure, through the delays, man. For the times you feel abandoned and forsaken, man, you got to endure, man. How bad do you want this breakthrough? How bad do you want this blessing? You have to endure, man. How bad do you want it? I apologize for getting loud, but man, I got to make you understand this, man. Satan don't care about nothing you asking for. He want you. He wants you off this planet for good, man. And some of y'all so close. You so close, man. That's why he attacking you so hard. Now I understand why God want, wanted me to make this video, bro. It makes sense now. I feel the Holy Spirit, man. How bad do you want this breakthrough? How bad do you want this blessing? Some of y'all, y'all out here, y'all preaching the word to people. Y'all telling God, y'all telling people how good God is, right? 
Sooner, and, and what does the Bible say in the book of Proverbs? He that winneth souls is wise. Y'all starting to do the Lord's work, man. Soon as you start to do the Lord's work, what happens? Satan try to put a chokehold on your voice, man. He start attacking you harder. He going after you harder, man. Because you a threat. You a threat. He hates you, man. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Do not grow weary in well-doing. You keep the faith and you go strong, man. Just like Christ when he was a kid. Let your spirit wax strong. Seek righteousness, man. Mac, uh, was it Matthew 6 and 33? Seek the, kingdom of, uh, seek the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness, man. And everything else would be added on to you. You got this, man. You got this. Do not lose hope. Do not lose faith in yourself and in the most high. You can do all things through your Howard Shai that strengthens you, man. Praise your way through. Praise your way through. Praise your way through. Keep that faith. Be the apple of God's eye. Stay prayed up, man. Anytime you want to go back to your old ways, pray. Put something funny on. Pray. If you don't got nobody to talk to, man. That's when God want to talk to you the most. Right? What did God say? Woe to those who hide your problems from him, man. He wants to know it all. Right? I said this before in another video. Isaiah 43 verse 26, man. Bring your remembrance to him and plead your innocence. If you don't know what's going on in your life, God's like, bring it to me. Let's chop it up. I'll tell you what's going on in your life. And then wait on the answer. Wait on the response, man. But some of y'all, the mantles y'all carrying is so big. You have to be broken, man. You have to be humble. Because when you get to where you're going, you can't have that big head, man. You got to remember what you just went through. What you're going through right now is going to keep you humble. It's going to keep you humble for the rest of your life, man. Believe that. Don't give up. Don't turn your back on God. Don't go back to your old ways. Don't stop praying. Don't start having anxiety. Don't start worrying. Don't start being afraid, man. Get out of that depression, man. No depression. Get out of those suicidal thoughts, man. You can do all things, man. No weapon formed against you. No weapon formed against you, man. It's in, it's all up in here, man. Let God continue to do that work in you, bro. You got this. You got this, man. If this the last video I ever made, man, you got this, man. You got this. I believe in you, man. The most high believes in you. Your suffering has an expiration date, man. It's only a matter of time before it's over. It's only a matter of time before it's finished, man. And you can go on about your life. And you can share your testimony with other people, giving glory to the most high. Right? What does it say in the book, in, in the book of Psalms? Your testimony builds his throne. Keep winning souls for the kingdom, man. Keep being obedient. All love, man. All praise to the Most High Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, bro. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. I hope this encouraged you. Please share if you feel led to. Keep the faith. Until next time. Peace.